Hello there, my fellow green-skinned friends, and welcome to yet another lore video about the various kinds and castes of the orcs. This episode is actually more or less of a fulfilled request for a subscriber, but it also features two kinds of orcs which are pretty common and prevalent among greenskin society. These two are the so-called speed freaks and flyboys, both of them being the main representatives, so to speak, of the orc cult of speed. In this video we are going to learn who they are, what makes them special, and of course a few infamous members of their brotherhood. I am your host, the green-skinned narrator, and without further ado, let us learn more about Speed Freaks and Flyboys, shall we? The Speed Freaks are those orgs who have become addicted to the sensation of pure speed. These obsessed greenskins band together in their own mobs and warbands, which are full of buggies, bikes and trucks. They belong to what orc culture refers to as the Cult of Speed, these grinning loons roar into battle on exhaust-belching jalopies and crude but effective flying machines, intent on getting into the thick of the fighting before their ground-pounding brothers. Most vehicles used by the speed freaks are painted red, as according to orc superstition, the red uns go faster. Due to the large number of vehicles in each warband, they often have multiple mech boys among their number to keep the vehicles running. Sometimes a warband of speed freaks is even led by a big mech instead of a warboss. Orc possess an inherent need to go fast. There is something about speed that fulfills some deep need in the orcish psyche, just like the thunder of a gun, the clank of the tracks, or the din of battle. They like to feel the wind whipping into their face and to hear the throaty roar of a supercharged engine. It is hardly surprising that bikes and buggies of all kinds are very popular with the orcs. These upgunned vehicles may not be as sturdy as those used by the Imperium, but they are cheap, can pack a big amount of firepower, and most important of all, they can achieve ridiculous speeds. The members of the Cult of Speed rarely, if ever, get out from behind the handlebars or steering wheels of their light vehicles. The obsession with speed can affect any orc, so it is possible to find orcs from different clans in a speed freak force. Of all the known major orc clans, it is the evil sons who have the largest population of the speed freaks. Their symbols often incorporate lightning, or the orc glyph known as Zog, to reflect the idea that these crazed orcs prefer to strike hard and fast. Many speed freaks, most notably the Evil Suns clan, will usually have their vehicles painted red from grill to exhaust. This habit of painting vehicles red also has its roots in the ritual covering of the orcs' mounts with the blood of the enemy, a practice that is still observed by some of the older Evil Suns tribes. Some infamous members of the Speed Freaks include Gerbog. This guy is an evil Sun's warlord who willingly followed the infamous orc Gaskul Mag Uruk Fraka during the Third War for Armageddon. During the Wa's initial assault, the Speed Freaks were uncharacteristically held in reserve on Gaskul's orders. Patience is not a virtue found among speed freaks, yet Gaskul was quite adamant in making his case. Making it, in fact, with his adamantium-plated head, by turning the wayward Evil Sun's warlord and his custom bike into a bloody scrap heap of broken parts. This proved a convincing argument, and only when the special teleporter mobs were sent to punch holes in the enemy lines were the speed freaks under Garbog finally set loose. Jazzgob. Jazzgob is a legendary evil son who leads his own mob of war bikers known as Jazzgob's Jet Boys. Jazzgob's Jet Boys have become a legend among the evil sons for their custom vehicles. Each of their cherished rides mounts a specially crafted engine under its bonnet, scavenged from the remains of a downed Daka jet. Jazzgob's own ride is a grossly oversized warbike, built around a massive single engine. 
In battle, he will sit proudly astride the engine, its howling turbine blades making the whole bike buck and kick like a living thing as it hurls the evil sun's orc across the battlefield. Few evil sons could hope to afford such an impressive personal ride, let alone a whole warband's worth of jet-powered wagons. Jazgob came by this wealth not by teeth smashing, but because he was in the right place at the right time and, like most evil sons, was the quickest to get there. Throwing his lot in with Big Mac Cocktooth, Jazgob and his mob took part in the capture of the Space Hulk Star Crumpa, which unfortunately was inhabited by a large brood of gene stealers. Cogtooth offered the orc who brought him the skull of the gene stealer broodlord anything he wanted. Cogtooth and his boys charged into the gene stealer nest, where Jazgob personally killed the Broodlord himself with his warbike. Then, Cogtooth awarded Jazgob a fleet of custom vehicles as a reward. Was Daka Gutsmech? Gutsmech is an orc mechaboy, and more specifically, an orc bike boy. Perhaps the greatest to have ever lived. After becoming accused of cheating when he won the race of the Burning Wheels, Waz Daka leveled his tribe's settlement with his Daka cannon and roared off in disgust. From that day forth, he has roamed the stars, a deadly bike boss for hire. He rides a heavily modified orc warbike known as the Bike of the Apocalypse, that is outfitted with a monstrously powerful shooter called the Daka cannon. This possesses the ability to destroy even a main battle tank. He now currently serves as a warlord of a WA comprised entirely of speed freaks. Lately, Waz Daka's wanderings have taken an overtone of a holy pilgrimage, speed freaks flocking to his banner with every victory. Godsmack himself claims that he will lead his smoke-belching and unstoppable WA from one end of space to the other, the greatest race in the history of time, and something that is sure to please the orc gods of Gork and Mork very much. Warlord Zardsnark the Ripper Zardsnark is a grizzled veteran of numerous war zones and countless battles, not only against the forces of the Imperium, but other Xenos races as well. Zardsnark was one of the more experienced and powerful orc warbosses on the orc world of Castorel Novum at the time of the Imperial Raid of the planet, and his large Evil Sons warband was in the thick of the fighting. For an orc warboss, he is lightly armored, a trait of the Evil Sons bikers, who prefer speed and mobility over armored protection. Zardsnark's sobriquet refers to his personal weapon of choice, the Ripper. This is a custom-built, gauntlet-mounted, armored buzzsaw. This warboss's favorite combat tactic is to hack at the enemy with the Ripper while making high-speed drive-bys on his large, fully customized, half-tracked warby called the Beast. Warlord Gazbag Gazbag, a speed freak warlord noted for his tenacity, if not his navigational skills, guided his war towards a group of largely unprotected Eldar worlds. Despite the lack of loot on the planet, Gazbag's orcs relieved their boredom by torching things and generally messing up the place. The vengeful Eldar of the craft world Beeltan descended upon the invaders with destructive fury but the gleeful orcs were numerous enough to prevent the Eldar from encircling them. After a protracted and bloody campaign, the Eldar are forced to withdraw. Gazbag enslaves the indigenous population and burns all he can find until the once verdant worlds are more to his liking. The Flyboys A flyboy is a member of the orc subculture of speed freaks whose need for speed far outstrips that of his ground-based brothers. Although most orcs are happy enough as horde infantry, there are a few unstable individuals among the tribes, which developed a craving to fly through the air like a bird. They take to the sky in search of ever greater exhilaration. Most orcs prefer to keep their feet firmly on the ground, and believe the real fighting is done up close and personal. Orc aircraft are the ultimate expression of a particular mania that can seize an orc's mind. 
The afflicted orc seeks ever greater thrills from speed and danger, driving, or in extreme cases, flying faster and faster. Few victims of this speed mania actually become pilots, because most orcs have a natural distrust of flying. Other orcs generally consider the flyboys to be quite mad, and avoid them. Thus, they live in a semi-exile from the orc tribal hierarchy, only associating with other flyboys, Gretchen slaves and gunners, and the deranged mechboys who build and maintain their aircraft. A couple of notable orc flyboys include The Crimson Baron He is an infamous orc flyboy who served under Skullkrumpa, the infamous Red Scourge of Gaflamore, an ambitious and foul-tempered Evil Sun's war boss. The Crimson Baron was perhaps the finest orc fighter race ever to live. While many orc pilots stenciled enemy kills onto their planes, the Crimson Baron's DACA jet remained free of such blemish. Whenever this was remarked upon, the Crimson Baron retorted that if he bothered with marking every kill, he would need to fly a Gargant instead. Indeed, the Crimson Baron's preternatural skill was matched only by his ego, and the only thing that came even close to screaming through the air, guns blazing, was telling all the other flyboys about it. Towards the end of the 41st millennium, Skull Krampa broke out in an attempt to carve a realm of his own among the stars. When he assaulted the imperial world of Kadrim, it was the White Scars chapter that came to the aid of the beleaguered world. When they launched an aerial assault, dozens of orc planes came bursting out of the cloud cover, the distinctive red DACA jet of the Crimson Baron at their head. Claiming a vicious kill tally, he would eventually meet his first defeat at the hands of a Necron Doomscythe, following the awakening of the slumbering Necrons beneath the planet's surface. Unknown to the combatant, the world of Kadrim was once a Necron tomb world of the Nihilak dynasty. Surviving the crash, the Crimson Baron soon took to the skies again in a borrowed DACA jet from a rival fighter race. In a subsequent battle, he engaged aerial forces from both the Necrons and the White Scars during an attack on Felstorm airfield. During the battle, the Crimson Baron shot down four Necron Doomscythes before he was shot out of the air by a Space Marine missile. It is unknown if the Crimson Baron survived. Skyboss Wingnuts An avowed speed freak, Wingnuts had a near-religious awakening upon the hive world of Ghoul Jensen when he first piloted a DACA jet. Since that day, Wingnuts has amassed a ramshackle fleet of looted and customized aircraft that follow in his wake. Known under the very original name of The Flyboys, Wingnuts serves as this unusual warband's sky boss. His flyboys would go on to darken the skies in the vanguard of Grok Face Ripper's Red War. So eager was Wingnuts to get into combat that his boys would lash their planes to the underside of a scrap ship, cutting them free as they fell through the planet's atmosphere. The flyboys would then commit to shooting down anything in their sight and dropping bombs on the targets below. Wingnuts himself became notorious for his death-defying strafing runs on the battlefield, his DACA jet passing only a few meters above the heads of startled orcs and horrified enemies alike. And these, my friends, have been the things I wanted to tell you about the speed freaks and the flyboys for today. If you were an orc, which one of these two would you rather be, and why? Let me know in the comments below. Was this video entertaining or informative? In that case, please consider clicking the like button and subscribing for future content. And if you'd like to help me keep making videos, please go check my Patreon page, the link for which is in the video description. Thank you kindly for watching, and I wish you an awesome day. The Emperor Protects.